Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Roz Gold on Wode, sitting here with members of the Warriors coaching staff. It's really good to have you all here, especially as the Warriors are bringing up the idea of Beyond 28, which really means the attention to black culture and also the celebration of that should be year round. Do y'all treat February any different than another month just because it's Black History Month? I don't. I mean, it's not like I'm going out here doing this pro-black thing, you know what I mean? Because I'm always going to be black, you know what I mean? So it's not a difference for me. You black every single day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. So that's how I look at it, man. It's like, man, I'm, you know, I want my kids to understand the, the different black people in history that have done tremendous things. But that's not just during February, mm -hmm. you know, that's year-round. Anytime, you know, get opportunity to, to talk about it, we will. It kind of feels like today's athlete is almost expected to be an activist. Do you think athletes have a responsibility to speak up now on matters and issues that matter to them? I, I don't think they have a responsibility. I think the biggest thing is, at least now today, there is a platform for the guys that want to be able to speak up, especially in the NBA. And just for comparison, JC, because you had a 10-year career also as a player in the NBA, what was the attitude then around activism and having a voice as a player? The guys were just really focused on the game, and that's why it's beautiful for me to see that guys can take care of their business on the court, but also they have this huge platform now to inspire and, and lead a younger generation. I love the idea of passing down gems of wisdom, and I think that's something that's so core to the idea of black community. But what are you, what are the important nuggets you pass down to your kids? The fact that my kids are of a minority, I guess you could say, and I hate to use that word in that regard, but when anything black related comes up, it's gonna be questions to them, and I want them to feel comfortable in, in their own skin, but also comfortable to come to me and expressing how they're feeling, being one of the very few in their mm -hmm. school or in their area. And I think the most important thing as a father mm -hmm. is just trying to help guide and educate your kids on the burdens that you may have being an African American growing up in, in today's world and not allow that to be a crutch and hold them back with whatever they're trying to do or accomplish at that particular point in time. Isn't it whack though sometimes having a walk with all of these burdens on your shoulders see, while our counterparts may not have to I think to what do Mike that? said was very crucial though mm -hmm. and very key. You, you don't use it as a crutch, you don't use it as an excuse. I can say my identity piece is being a black woman, and especially having to do with the fact that I work in a male-dominated space for the most right. part. There are so many things that I consider before I even have the chance to sit on air and look at a camera. Because one thing about blackness is that there are very different ways to act black or to experience blackness or to feel blackness. So it heavily impacts right. how I show up to work and act every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's, it's tough. That's the reality of it for uh, people of color. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, if there's a will, there's a way. Mm -hmm. Well, absolutely. I want to thank you guys for giving us your time and your insights today and really discussing Beyond 28. I think we hammered that home. Like, this is an important month to bring attention to black history and our culture and our activism, but also that the celebration is year-round.